Today we're going to be talking about motivation. Why would you learn C++ in 2022? And I would say that, largely speaking, there are two reasons for it. One is the pragmatic one, and the other one is pretty romantic. So let's get into those. I would like to start with the romantic reason. And romantic, of course, doesn't mean in the terms of romance, uh, per se, but romantic in terms of the use case of the language itself. And um, I come from a robotics background. I've been doing robotics for about 10 years now, maybe a bit more. And when I started doing that, I did not expect that there is such a field. And I would not be able to do this if I would not know C++. In the end, C++ is a language that has a niche. This is a very, very broad niche, but it is a niche. If you want to build a website, then you really don't need any form of C++ whatsoever, but you will probably be using something that is built in C++ under the hood. What you do need C++ for is when you're building a system, like a system that runs on real hardware, usually, or has to be extremely optimized or run in extremely efficient manner. And that's the reason why a lot of supercomputers or servers um, or uh, embedded computers are actually coded in C++ nowadays. But that brings me away from my romantic uh, reason of liking C++. And the romantic reason comes uh, from what I can do with this language. Uh, I've been working in self-driving car um, domain for quite a while now, and I've been implementing different things for different companies, both for big automotive companies thinking about what, how you can detect things that lie on the road, as well as uh, doing perception in uh, different Bay Area startups and uh, looking how different things can drive autonomously or completely or partially autonomously on the road. This is extremely exciting to me. And uh, the reason I could do all those things is uh, because I knew some C++ before. And uh, my reasons don't stop at me doing robotics. If you don't care about robotics, although how can you not care about robotics, I don't know, but let's say you don't, um, there are other things that are equally exciting that you can do mostly in C++ nowadays. If you want to uh, send a rocket into space or if you want to have a robot roaming on Mars, either on wheels or flying, or if you want to control a telescope or just analyze the data from this telescope, then C++ is your language. And if you don't care about space exploration and whatnot, then uh, maybe you care about medical research, maybe you care about how to perform uh, the CAT scans better or how to detect um, cancer and whatnot. If you want to just write games, then, uh, I mean, say no more. Most of the AAA titles nowadays are actually coded in C++. If you just look at the websites of the companies that develop those games, you will clearly see that they're always looking for C++ engineers. And there is no wonder about it. Most of the tools that you use to build any games, uh, like all the engines and whatnot, are actually built in C++. So um, I hope that that already gives you enough broadness of what you can do with this language. And this just, you know, it just scratches the surface. Uh, to be honest, I think if you use anything that uses any code in it, the chances are under the hood there is going to be some C++. Um, and you don't really have to dig that deep for that. Okay, so I think now that wraps up the romantic part of the talk, and we can talk about some pragmatic reasons of why you would want to learn C++ in 2022. And those basically come down to the simple question of time, right? You have a limited amount of time and limited amount of effort that you can spend on something, so the question for you is, should you learn C++ or should you maybe learn a different language? And I would still say that if you want, say, job security in the future, then C++ is still a really good language to go to. And there are multiple reasons for this. Nowadays, C++ is an extremely popular language. There are multiple researches done by different companies. So, for example, there is a survey on Stack Overflow that uh, looks at the popularity of the languages um, that people use. And I believe that's a pretty good sample of all the engineers in the world. And you can clearly see that while it's by far not the most popular language, it's really the most popular systems language. Of course, there is a lot more people who write uh, in JavaScript, but we need many more websites than we need um, space shuttles, for example. Then there was another survey in 2015 done by JetBrains 
And JetBrains is this company that, um, that built uh, arguably the most used IDE in C++, now C line. And when they decided to build this, they actually had to answer the question, should they build it in the first place or not? And for that, as a company, I mean, in the end, they have to earn money. So what they had to do is they had to analyze, is the market big enough? And is the impact big enough? And is it going to be big enough going forward in the future? So what they did is they went ahead and analyzed a bunch of sources and compiled a very, very nice report that I will link in the description of this video of uh, how C++ is used by how many people and whatnot. And I believe that this number grows, and I really believe that this number doesn't grow fast enough. We still need a lot of people who know this. This is a bit of a complicated language, and, it, and we have a history of teaching it badly, so uh, we should really ramp up our knowledge in C++, but in the end of the day, I believe that if you know C++, you will not be left out without work. In addition to all the things that I just said, C++ has a vibrant community. And this is not just a vibrant community, it's a vibrant and inclusive community. If you go to something like a CppCon conference, which is one of the biggest conferences uh, in C++, you will be amazed by how kind and welcoming the people there are. And all of those reasons together, um, I think, and I hope, are uh, good enough to actually start learning C++ in 2022, or in any year, uh, for that matter. In the end, this is a journey, and this is also a journey for me. I, don't, I definitely don't know everything about it, and I'm learning every day. So um, please join me on uh, this journey, and I hope that we will all learn something valuable in this course. See you in the next videos. Bye.